Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be decorating my January monthly. So for this spread, um, I took some florals from this teacher floral sticker book and I'm just going to grab other stickers based on the colors that um, are in the florals. So I picked like some pretty um, purple ones and then this one has like the purple and then like a yellowish color in it so um that's what i'm going to be using for today's video so i'm going to take the pages out and get started okay so i only have like two florals so i'm going to grab some more from this book just to get them all on the wax paper Okay, um, I think I'm going to cluster those with a few other stickers. So, on the 13th, it's National Sticker Day. So, I have Planner Babe, but I don't really have much left in there. Um, so, I grabbed um, the Happy Goals sticker book. And I'm just going to grab some discs from this book and honestly I had some clear ones and I ran out of those um, but there are some paper ones but I do have another one of these books so I'm gonna see which one I like better okay so I think the clear ones would be easier to label or not label layer with the florals and other stickers so I'm gonna go ahead and use these clear ones so I'm just gonna grab this like purplish one This yellow and maybe the orange. Don't know if I'm gonna use that, but honestly, there is some orange in there, so. So I have this botanical sticker book because I thought these extra like florals I had, I wanted to use them up and I feel like they would look super cute layered with these purple florals. So I'm probably going to use up all of these. Okay, and then I have this Celebrate sticker book and since I have some gold foil, um, I think I'm gonna bring that in. I wish it was black, but I don't have this in black. So this page just has a whole bunch of words on it and I have my boyfriend and I's their uh, three year anniversary is on the 7th. So this one says our anniversary, but it might be a little too, no, that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna use that. And then my mom's birthday is on the 9th. So maybe this celebrate one. And I think that's all I'm gonna pull from there. I have this colorful boxes sticker book and I have like these paint splash type things. Maybe that's too much. I like these ones better. But I don't know if I'm going to use these. I mean, I could just layer them with the florals and maybe some boxes and see how they look. Hmm. It's kind of bright. So this one I don't think really matches though. It's better. Okay, I'm just going to see how those look. And then I have this Align sticker book. This is for the mini, but I figured this way I could add some grays or blacks to the spread and probably use some of these boxes. Like the functional ones. And I could layer some quotes. Um, I have these boxes. Well, I only have one. 
one square box. That's okay. So I think I'm gonna pull that one. I'm gonna pull, this one can be for my mom's birthday. And then I'll use like this, these ones for like my bills and stuff. One, two, th oh, I only have four. Maybe if I added like, I don't know. This is like not, this is kind of a gray. Yeah, I'm probably gonna add that. Okay, so I have a good amount of stickers, so I'm gonna start decorating the page. So this one I figured could go on our anniversary. So I'm gonna make a cluster for that. I want some washi tape though. So I grabbed some grid washi cause that just goes with everything. So I have this one, which I usually don't rip that in half because it is kind of thinner anyways. Then I have this one though. I think I like this one better just cause it's not, I feel like this one's a little more busy. So I'm gonna use this washi and rip it in half. So I'm gonna layer this here. Probably gonna cut some of that off once I get it on the page. Maybe I should cut it off now so I can see what it looks like. Okay, that kind of fits perfectly there. So I'm probably gonna put that there and then I need some uh, florals with it. So maybe this one. Okay, and since that is gold foiled, I kind of don't want to add a gold foil flower, so I'll probably do that somewhere else. Okay, so I think I'm going to stick this down. Okay, so I didn't stick it down all the way because I do have a few areas that I want to white out. So I'm going to take my jelly roll and I'm going to white out the line right here. Okay, so that's going to dry and then I also have the line for the floral. Okay, so I got that done, and now I think I'm going to start adding some functional stickers. So I have these like light gray boxes, but I'm going to cut this little triangle off. Um, I have these boxes for my bills. So I have one on the third. So I'm going to put this there and it kind of goes a little over but that's okay so i'm doing this whole layering thing so i think that's fine and then i'm gonna grab another one cut this part off let's see i have one on the sixth i'm gonna put this on wax paper first and see. Okay, so since it goes over the line a little bit, I'm just trying to figure out which line okay, that I want it over. So I think I want it going into the fifth a little bit instead of into the seventh. So have that there. I have a bill on the seventh, but I kind of took up 
a lot of room there, so that's okay. I'll just mark it in the weekly view. And then I have two on the 15th. So I'm gonna put one here. It's a little crooked. Okay, I'm just gonna layer, not layer, I'm just gonna put the other one like on top of it. Let's see, I have another one on the 27th. And then I'm going to mark, I only have one more of these. So let's see. I'm gonna put it on the 28th. Okay, so that's good for that. And then I'm gonna start the cluster for my mom's birthday. So I have this cute little box and then some washi. Okay, I think that's fine. So I'm going to add some florals. Oh, I forgot I had these. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to use those. I hate to have it the same on the same side as this box, but I think it looks really good like that. Okay, there we go. I have that cluster. Okay, I'm gonna lightly put it down so I can white out these lines. Okay, in the Celebrate sticker book, there's some cupcakes and candles, and if you've seen a few of my other videos where I do this, I just cut off most of the candle, the bottom, and then I grab my tweezers so that I can easily stick this candle on top of the cupcake. So I'm just going to see if this like fits anywhere. I mean, it's cute right there. I think I'm going to put it on top, like right here, because I don't want it going into the sidebar. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to stick it here. I know it's for the ninth, so it's okay that it's like technically on the 10th, but it's with the cluster, so. So in the Encourager sticker book, there's this whole sheet of hearts, and I think these are probably going to work better. There's some yellow ones. Okay, yeah, this purple goes way better. Okay, I think that's good for that. Um, and then let me do one for National Sticker Day. I'm gonna try to see if I have any other like black boxes. 
and I think I do have a couple left in my colorful boxes so I can oh I have some right here okay so for national sticker day I think I'm just gonna put this use this one. Oh, I so could have used that one is this even black yeah it's black but okay it's okay um so let's see I want this here and then I need the floral on the other side I hate to cover up most of the sticker because it's so pretty, so I'm going to try not to cover up too much of it. And then some washi. Let's see. Okay, that is super pretty. So I'm going to put that down. Okay, and then I'm going to white out the lines again. Okay, so I got that down, so now I'm going to add the discs. And now that I'm looking at it, I think those are too big, so... I have this sheet, like these sheets that I just cut up. Oh, I don't have purple though. Hmm. I can't tell if this is like red or orange. I think I'm going to use it anyway. I don't know if I like this. If I white out the line and then just layer it behind. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a couple more boxes um, for like, important days so the 18th is when i go back to class for the spring semester so i feel like i need to mark that probably cluster it maybe i don't know this one is a big floral but i need it on somewhere on this page. I'm trying to cover up as little as I can. I'm going to wipe out the lines. Okay, I got that cluster down and let me see if washi will look good. Okay, um, let's see. I could do, a, these are really big though. So I have this like leaf. I could possibly put down. Put 
Hmm. I don't know if I like that, but it's gonna stay for now. Um, what else? Paydays. So I have some bullet points or I have flags. Thinking the bullet points might be a little too small. I think I'm gonna use these. So I'm just going to mark my paydays. I have one on the 25th, but that got covered up. So I'm just going to skip that one. Honestly, I think that's it. So I'm going to look in the teacher florals. There's a sidebar sticker, but it's kind of short. So I'll have to layer something with it. This one is longer, which I like, but it doesn't really match the purple. This one kind of goes better, but it's shorter. So I might have to layer some stuff with it. Okay, so I layered um, this box with some florals and I think I'm just gonna put it down and then find like a quote or something to fill in the rest of the space. It's kind of hard to do this when the florals are already on. Okay, so I'm going to cut the extra off and white out the lines. Okay, so I found this Always Be Kind and Brave quote in the Align sticker book. So I'm just going to stick this like this on the sidebar. And then on the bottom to kind of like fill in that space, I have this like cluster of florals but I'm trying to rearrange it so that it'll work so I don't have any more purple flowers but there are some smaller ones in paper form so I'm gonna see if this looks good with this cluster down here I mean, it doesn't look bad. So I'm going to see if the washi will look good here. probably gonna cut off I think what's throwing me off is this gold floral like on the washi so I'm just gonna cut that off and then probably put this paper floral underneath the washi that 
So I whited out the line right here and I also took off the orange um, little disc that was there because it was like way too orange um, on the page. So yeah, I think with that I'm done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back into my planner. So that is my spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one.